June 3, 2013. Hello, my name is Jack Street. I just got this new journal. So I will most likely throw it in the trash later or maybe show it to the public when I become famous. June 4, 2013. I was doing my daily routine. I have to forcefully clean my room even if it's clean but that's what happens when you have parents like mine. Anyways, after I finish up I start up my PC and see what games are on Roblox and not a big of surprise it is murder mystery. That game keeps on being on the front page and it's annoying. I play around in a test your own gear type of game when I hear my parents downstairs talking about them winning cruise tickets on the mail. I laughed inside thinking they got it in an obviously spyware site where it most likely say insert your credit card information for 5 million dollars. But as I continue hearing my mom got them from a recommendation email from a friend in her workplace. That's everything important that happened today. June 5, 2013. I went to get milk from the corner store because of the encounter I had yesterday with the expired one. On my way I met a friend from my class I forgot his name. Oh right it was Edward but I usually call him Ed or Eddie. He told me he was going to Florida with his family for the entire summer and that he just installed Roblox on his phone so we can both play while I'm at the dumb cruise. June 8, 2013 I haven't written in a while more likely since my parents woke me up at 8 in the morning to get dressed and start packing. I feel tired and the trip will take 8 hours and I will probably fall as ill. June 9, 2013. We just arrived and surprisingly this wasn't such a scam than I thought. We got a room numbered 404 where I would first joke that I couldn't find it but nobody got the joke so I just shut up. While my mom and dad left to wherever I stayed in the room because the beds were great. With the free Wi-Fi I could install Roblox faster on my phone. I messaged my friend and told him to join a game called Zombie Tycoon or Zombie Lab Tycoon I forgot. Anyways I got a tycoon and bought the first room. My friend joined his name was Commander 500. He really didn't enjoy tycoons but since he had nothing better to do he joined me. I donate him 5,000 cash to buy stuff. We had fun and then someone joined. I saw on the player list and his name is 42 Bobby. He was nice but from the looks of him he had nothing on he had the 2009 default new Robloxian model. Like if he barely joined but on 2013 this is weird. My friend chatted with him while I continued getting and spending money like if I was a insane Bill Gates except I don't give a ton of money to charity. It turned 12 at midnight like the flash so I left the server and went to bed. June 10, 2013. I went to 42 Bobby's Roblox profile but saw that it said he has not been online since 2009. I tried messaging him but it wouldn't let me. He does have a limited item and one friend whose name is Harry940. He also seemed to not be online for a long time since 2010 which is almost 3 years. This really surprised me since me and Bobby played just yesterday. I wanted to contact Roblox about if this was some kind of glitch that occurs when people come back after a long period of time. I decided that I would just waste their time so I played Roblox the instead. June 11, 2013. My account was banned but it literally said no reason why to box of text where it said why it was empty except with the numbers 42. I was going to play on my other account Bloodbuckler but I forgot the password. June 14, 2013. My account was finally unbanned and I managed to play Roblox again. I did nothing really for the past 4 days but eat and sleep and check my DeviantArt. I logged on and got one new message from 42 Bobby saying sorry D I wondered if D was a typo but it wouldn't have have been possible to accidentally do that. I wrote him Wade you banned me? Be careful next time. June 15, 2013. I woke up to find a letter next to my bed. It was stamped and sent by someone called River. It was just a drawing of a Robloxian. It wasn't bad of a drawing but it kinda freaked me out as more I stared at it so I threw it of the boat. June 16, 2013. Someone is trying to prank me. I got a phone call from an unknown caller and when I answered it all I heard was a cheap scream that sounds like one of those things from Bargain Halloween Sounds DVDs. 
I also got a message by 42 Bob saying did you like it? E. Another typo or was it intended? I don't know but I'm getting to it. After all that I talked to my friend. Hey dude do you remember some guy named 42 Bob? 42 what? That guy we met on the tycoon, you know, in Roblox. The one who looked like a noob? Yeah kinda. Yeah I think. Me, well things been going on since we met him. Like what? Well first he banned me then he somehow sent me a creepy drawing. PFFT please, that person can't do a thee. Then the call ended. I tried calling back but it kept sending me to voicemail like if his battery died. June 17, 2013 I decided to check if there is anything good in the mini fridge that was in my room and found another note inside. It said don't worry. I took good care of that person I figured out it must been 42 Bobby but how did he know where exactly I was? I sent him a message saying what did you do? He instantly replied before I even pressed send. His message was just a bunch of letters. They were like this. June 18, 2013 I was banned again this time for hacking but even if I didn't. Things have gotten more and more odd since I met 42 Bobby. I tried calling my friend and he picked up but I just got 10 seconds full of what I hear is a dog barking while someone in the background laughs. I was called to go to the cruises receptionist desk for a package later that day. I asked the who it was from and they said it had a tag that read from your best friend T. I didn't wait to go to the room to open it so I opened it in the lobby and found a yellow Robloxian head carved in wood. I knew it was made badly since there were marks of paint left by mistake. Maybe it was Bobby's apology gift but I still think he's a psycho.